Good afternoon, I'm Charles Berger, along with Colin Brennan, reporting here from the BX Strength and Speed Development Combine. This is the Pro Agility. Colin, tell us a little bit about what they're doing here. Well, Charlie, this is a, a, a speed drill, all about changing direction. The way it works is um, starting the middle cone, and you're allowed to start with the leg goes to the left or the right, whichever way you want. You sprint five yards, touch the line, sprint the 10 to the, to the, to the far cone, and you sprint through the five. Um, all the way through. It's all that change of direction. The key with this, Charlie, is you have to touch the line at either side. Um, as the guy mentioned in the demonstration in the beginning, if you're close, they'll give it to you, but um, you have to go all the way to the line. He also mentioned the importance of, make, of turning your body, of shifting your hips and running through a full sprint and not doing the basketball shuffle. They're not doing the basketball shuffle with your feet. A lot of football quick, moves quick, quick, are being quick, demonstrated quick. here. Sprint, sprint, uh, they're sprint, talking sprint. about good times four, seven, seven. of uh, four or five, four or four being good times, four or three solid, and sprint. you said four and four is a D1 scholarship. Yep. Change yep. directions, good it's job. A drill, especially for um, skill position players. Uh, you know, for running backs, sprint receivers, uh, defensive backs. Good job, good job, good job. Get the hand down, hand down, hand down. Four, six, one. Neck four, two. It's also really important to stay low. You don't want to, if you saw the last round, man, almost took his two, 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 body straight up too high. Um, you want to keep your center of gravity low with this drill. Quick, sprint, sprint, change direction. Good job. Great job, man. Great job, man. 40 there. Turn it four, four. Next guy up. Whenever you're ready. Sprint, 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 sprint. Change direction, change direction. Five, two, eight. Next. Next. Eighty-seven. Let's go, Noel. We're looking at uh, Noel Sanchez here from North Rockland. Nice job. Go, Noel. Hook. Good job. Very speedy, Four. nice performance nope, there. Oh, as you saw by uh, Noel, he did a great job there. But as you mentioned earlier, he didn't go all the way to the line. But he will have another attempt though. Let's go, let's go. That's it. Chase Rex. Good job. Four, five, eight. Great job, big man. Great job. You're really seeing the uh, difficulty in the turns. Oh, absolutely, Charlie. Uh, it's really important to keep the hips loose here and stay low. Sprint. And to sprint from one line to the other. And do a complete 360. Right. You know, and you're seeing the difference in times. You're getting a range right now from four, five, all the way up to four, eight. Yep. And that's, that's a huge difference in such a quick drill. Yep. Come on, Noel. 469. That was Noel Sanchez clocking in with the time of 469. We're here with Noel Sanchez. No, uh, Noel, you just had 469. Uh, what do you think about the pro agility? Uh, it's a good drill. You gotta uh, keep your footing before you touch that line because obviously I didn't touch it the first time. Uh, Noel, you're a senior at North Rockland. This is the first uh, combine they've had uh, in your you know, uh, high school years. Tell us a little bit about what you think of the idea of the combine. It's a great experience. For any high school football player, it's a great experience. I mean, uh, even if you don't want to play college football, it's a fantastic experience. I'm glad that this is the first year and I get to do it as a senior at North Rockland. What's it like to come out here and uh, be among the best of, uh, you know, Westchester football players and, and compete with them. It's great. I love it. I mean, uh, football's my thing, and uh, I play it to my ability, just like all these guys, and I have a great time doing it. No, thanks a lot. Good luck. Yeah, the, it seems, Colin, that the key to this drill is really staying low yep. and getting it, you know, touching that line and getting a good, good turn. It, it almost seems as if uh, touching the line helps because you get low and it's easier to stop your momentum and sprint back it does, the other it way. It does, it does. And if you can get a little momentum, I'm pushing off too. Get ready for the next sprint through. Take off, take off, take off! Four, four, six, nice job! Great job, number 16 there. 100, 100. A real nice aspect to uh, this combine and this drill is, as you see, you've got three coaches right here helping you through, giving positive reinforcement, yep. positive feedback, yep. and and this is really what's exciting for these high schoolers. Is this is a, an example of a professional combine. You know, this isn't something that's makeshift and run haphazardly. I mean, this is run like you're trying out for a college team. And it's got to be so exciting and such uh, you know, a great experience 
for these right. high schoolers. Yeah, you know what's also, time. You know, it's, also time it's also good to you know, show time. a real lesson because you know when Five they get to college, you know it's going to be the real deal. And you know here they get a chance to compete here with you know the best players in the area. And you know it's when the, you know, they'll be playing with you know the Tom Knox talent when they get to college. Now they're going to have an opportunity to uh, do the drill again and maybe improve on their times. We've seen a lot of four, uh, you know, the best times are about four, five. We've seen a lot of four, six and a half, four, seven, four, eight. That's been the average, about four, seven. So let's see if we get a better, uh, you know, better average time the second run through. Right, and uh, as mentioned earlier, Charlie, the great thing about being able to run this twice is they'll take the best time to send that to schools. don't turn your back, don't turn your back. Good. Get the hand down. Get the hand down. Four, five, one. That was a great time. Four, five, one. That was about the best we've seen so far. Nice job by number eleven there. Get down. Get down. Get down. That's it. Four, four, zero. Nice job. Well, we have a new best yeah, time. One twenty-eight. Best three nine nine. Four zero, very impressive. As you can see, the second time through, a lot of these guys are staying lower. Yeah. They're listening to the coaching. You know, that's that's why these are the best uh, athletes in the section. They're very coachable. Right. They, yeah. they hear one thing from these, you know, professional coaches, and the next thing you know, they're doing it. They're applying it, and they're getting better times right away. Well, that try, like you mentioned, that's by the coaching here. They're responding to the feedback. Get your hand down, hand down, hand down, nice! 473, next! 11, 11. We got 29. That's it, good! Change direction, good! 453, next! 29, 114. Another nice job by number 11. That's it. Nope, got the Got him a 29 there, staying pretty high, lost the balance, he's getting to the line. Now every player, Colin, has an individual scorecard that they have. It has their name, their age, the school they go to, and then it has their results in each drill. So as we progress, they'll be able to get their best times down for each drill, put it down, and at the end you come up with a a, a scorecard, and that's something telling. You know, this is a piece of paper that they're going to be able to send out to their college, uh, you know, wherever they want to go to school, and you know, that's hey, this is why I did a combine. Right, you know, know, right, you know, Charlie, like you said, I mean, you know, we still have an upcoming football season to play, and you know, that's going to be the most important thing. But this sheet of paper is going to determine, you know, which coaches want to look at these guys at the next level. And listen, if you're close, remember, if you're close, <coughs> get there close. Sprint through, sprint through, sprint through. 516, you got time, I'll let you have another one. Next. Come on. That's change direction. Nice job. Get down low, good. 468, nice job. Nice job, number 86 there. As you got close to the line, started to get low, so he was ready to tap and get back at it. It, these scores are definitely relative. We, ha we have to keep four, that in four, mind. One. You have Next. some guys that are you know, going out to be D-backs and wide receivers, and they're going to be in the you know, mid to lower fours. And then you have some bigger guys, 220 pounds. Can't expect them to do that, but you know, a 4'6", four, 4'7", four, is an outstanding score. Oh, absolutely. 4'4'6". Four, four, that was a 4'4'6". Four, four, Here comes Noel Sanchez. Had a 4'6'9 his yeah, first left. time. That's it. Take off. No, no. Take off! Four, 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 and you want to talk about improvement, Colin. He went from a 4.69 to a 4.46. As you saw, he stayed low and uh, did a very nice job. Oh, great job, I know all that. We're here with Noel Sanchez again. Noel, you just ran a 4.46 after having a 4.69 on your first run. Uh, what did you do differently the second time around? Uh, Try not to slip. Um, it's kind of hard to get your footing. And uh, you gotta make sure you touch that line. Cause that's my biggest problem. Uh, tell me about the uh, coaching. You receiving advice from two uh, coaches here. Great job. It's a uh, good motivation when you're running down the line. You really want to come and finish strong at the end sprint. Yo, thanks a lot, and good luck the rest of the thanks combine. A lot.